Okay, Boone. One more time. From the top. Now, I don't want to call you a liar or crazy, but just one more time, because you've been saying a lot of things that sound like either lies or crazy talk. Okay, so, this building, this stone wall with the NCR flag and the barbed wire and the towers and the air, air control tower, this is McCarran Field. You're absolutely positive about that. This, this right here, is the center of the NCR military efforts in the area. You're absolutely positively sure about that. Yeah. Okay, just want to abs make absolutely sure of that. You're absolutely sure. Sure. It just seems strange that, you know, the center of the NCR military can't spare any soldiers to keep people from spraying graffiti on their walls. I mean, die NCR, kill NCR, crush NCR, and that's, that's ignoring the giant, you know, F the NCR in 10 foot tall letters. You're seriously saying that they don't have the manpower to scrub their own walls? It's a lot of territory to secure, even for a big army like the NCRs. I mean, I guess I'm really not surprised. I mean, we saw how many fiends on the way down here? We saw a gang over there, we saw a gang over there, we saw some we saw some kills of NCR soldiers over there by the buildings. This is it's, it's like it's we're all of 100, 150 feet from the main gate. And it's just, it's graffiti all the way along here. And I know I'm making a big fuss over this, but it's like, the NCR really can't be that understaffed or that incompetent, can they? I mean, when I came here, I was mostly just going to say, hey, let's go find that arms dealer that... Well, it wasn't Lieutenant Hayes, it was some guy in Prim said, Oh, go check out this guy in Camp McCarran. He's the best arms dealer around. And I said, Awesome. He's an arms dealer. He's going to have money. He's going to have ammo. Maybe I'll even get really lucky and he'll have energy weapon ammo. I'm not going to hold my breath on that one, but it's like, I can dream of finding a guy who has a steady supply of energy cells. But it's like, This place? It's like, at the very least, send send one grunt to scrub the walls. You can't spare one guy, really? Like, this is crazy talk. So, yeah, I, I was going to say, let's just find the arms dealer, but... In these circumstances... In these circumstances, I bet they'd have room. They'd have some caps for a mercenary, wouldn't they? Yeah... I bet they have jobs that I could do for them, and they'd pay out the wazoo. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I like this plan. Okay, let's go in here. Let's find the person in charge. Let's introduce ourselves. Gabriel de la Cruz, mercenary extraordinaire. And my mechanic. We need to find you some better clothes. I'm sorry, but the jumpsuit look, it does not do it for me, all right? All right, we want... Yes, it is a robot. Did nobody ever tell you that... You're doing it again. Pointing is very rude. He's mocking me. I know it. But let's not let our first action in the NCR camp be gunning down the gate guard. You have unique clothing. I bet you're in hey. charge here, aren't you? Major Daughtry, hello. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Yeah, fiends. Those are the guys running around outside killing your soldiers, right? What do you know about them? Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? <laughs> You see, Raul, this is what I'm talking about. Already I've walked in the door and he says, this is a man who is competent, this is a man who I want doing my jobs. Well, either that or he's just that desperate. 
<laughs> it might be interesting. What, what are their names? First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Huh. You're sending me after a crazed chef. Well, that's a new one. That's not something I thought I'd be doing today. Well, at the moment, I'm going to say none of them, because if you look at the sky, it's nearly sunset. Yeah, we're not going to be doing any work today. Can't say I blame you. If I wasn't in this fight for my country, you couldn't pay me enough to screw with those maniacs. Speaking of sunset, uh, the sun's nearly setting. And you know what? I'm not sure how many open beds there are going to be here. So I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the map and figure out how far we are from the 188. It's not too bad. I mean, there's got to be some place around here we can find a bed. But I'm tempted to just run back to the 188 and grab the truck. You haven't been in the truck yet, have you? Oh, trust me. It's way, it's, it's leagues better than the cardboard you were sleeping on. It act, we actually have cushions and a pillow, if you can believe that. So I think what we're going to do is run back to the van and then put it on autopilot and drive it back here. Well, Raul, here we are. Van, sweet van. Just so you know, I have dibs on the top bunk. Uh, you and Boone can fight it out over who gets to sleep on the couch. Just so you know, he's uh, kind of a douchebag. He's, he's our douchebag. But a douchebag nonetheless, so... Why does your jumpsuit say Miguel? N never mind, it's not important. Let's let's drive this van back to McCarran, take a nap, and then see, see about, you know, hunting some fiends. Alright. We've met Major Daughtry, so if we want to go bounty hunting, we can go talk to him. But I think for now, we should go find, uh... What did you say his name was? Colonel Shu? Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, Colonel Shu. He's going to be the guy, I think, in charge of this base. So if anybody mm. has, you know, the high risk, high reward, or better yet, low risk and high reward jobs that pay out, you know, a ton of caps, he's going to be the guy to talk to. So let's go find him. I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? My name is Gabriel de la Cruz. I am an independent contractor of sorts, a mercenary, and if you need some extra manpower, I saw the graffiti around the base. Really? You don't have soldiers to clean that up? Yeah, I'm up for hire. There are a lot of things I can't spare troops for right now. If you can help us, we can definitely pay you for your work. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week. But so far, he hasn't spoken a word. Is that so? <laughs> a Legion prisoner, you say? Well, the Legion and I have a very special relationship. You see, they come asking me for help, and I give them supplies. Mainly, ma mainly bullets, if I'm honest, but, you know, supplies nonetheless. I bet I can help you make, it, make that guy talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. All right, I'll go do that right now. Hello? You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Whoa, whoa. The hell is that supposed to mean, Boone? Is there, is, is there something wrong with the way I'm dressed? But, I, look, I... I ignore that. Ignore that. I'm here to help. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? 
I, I, I guess I could kind of see that. I mean, I'm not exactly dressed in uniform, so in that case, yes, I can see why I'd stand out. But still, I mean, you don't... It's like, the first thing you say to me is like, I don't like your clothes. It's like, why would you lead with that? Who are you again? Oh yeah, you're, you're Boyd, right? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Yes, I know how colonels can be. They frown on executing people without judge, jury, or even a trial. Also, first off, you're not wearing a name tag. Second off, frickin' rude. Do you need any help despite all of the above? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. That'll be the guy right there. Is that a bigger deal than I'm thinking of? I mean, I have killed at least one of those, I think. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Okay, okay, that makes slightly more sense. It's like, if the Legion are commanded to kill themselves instead of being captured, then yeah, capturing one alive would be a big deal. W what do you think that means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Okay. Do you have some... I don't know. Have, do you, you have something like a truth serum? I, I don't know whether that exists. Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Okay. And have you tried just beating the crap out of him? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So... You want me to bypass the law. I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Okay, so... I mean... First off, I'm not sure I'm actually comfortable with this, because, for, first off, I was under the impression that you'd be the one going in there and beating up, and I'd be the one cheering you on. Yeah, I mean, it's not that I object to the use of violence against prisoners of war, I object to being in the same room as a bloody Kenturian and saying, hey, you want to go fisty f fisticuffs? Ah, oh, tear my heart out, why don't you? Well, maybe you can find a way to play with his mind, get him out of his comfort zone. People lose their heads and say things they regret, especially if they underestimate you. This dickhead would underestimate a nuclear missile. Plenty of ways to skin a cat, as they say. Hey, what if we skinned him? But he wouldn't be so smug then. Oh, okay! Holy crap, this lady is like, wants to shoot people who talk back, wants me to beat this guy up. On the one hand, I like her style. On the other hand, I'm bloody terrified of her. Yeah, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. 
I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. H hang on, that wasn't part of the deal. Y you want me Let's to leave my- Let's finish this up, then we can talk. Uh, okay, I, I thought I'd have my guns going in there. It's like, you know, in case, wh what am I gonna do if he, if he just jumps up and starts punching me? It's like, I, I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Really? You, 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 it's like, I thought I'd have, like, like the, a plasma defender at least. Nothing, really? Okay, okay, how, how are we gonna do this? What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Let's see, I could try to, yeah, you smell like excrement, so there. E no, we have several options. Yeah. Now you've made me angry, I'll be right back. Or... Or, 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 or... Or I could try to bluff this guy. I mean, he's never seen me before. I bet he doesn't know everybody in the Legion. And he's disobeyed standard Legion practice. Yeah. Hey, Seelus. You know how everybody has standing orders to kill themselves to avoid to evade capture? Guess what I'm here to do? You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. Maybe so. But how about some Latin? Yes, I'm posing as a mercenary. How astute of you to see all this clever mercenary armor and assume that I am just a mere mercenary, but that was just a ruse to get inside the walls. No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. Oh, yeah, and you're also a danger to him alive because you know things. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian, for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. Yes, he trusted you to kill yourself, and his laws are absolute, and there are no exceptions. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. Oh, so what was that about being loyal to Kaisar? You're also gonna, you're also gonna desert? No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. All that shouting. Honestly, Silas, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this man is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silus. Of course I'm right. Except I don't care, because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silus. Carry on. Lieutenant. Holy crap, you pissed her off. <laughs> so, where were we? You don't have to do this. Oh. But I do, Silus. You see, unlike you, I am true to Kaisar. 
and I follow Kaisar's orders. If I'd killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion as I see it. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. <laughs> yeah, and if his empire falls, it'll be because his Kenturians are gullible. What? What do you mean? See, here's the thing, Silus. Latin is known outside of the Legion. I'm working with the NCR, and you just spilled all of the beans. No, you slimy bastard. Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. Sure, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure of that. <laughs> Holy crap, did you see his face? Holy crap. Okay, Boyd, Boyd. Wait a minute, Boyd. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just had the unreal, de dawning realization that he just said you have a spy in the base. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. Okay, okay, goodbye. See. I yep. have to go talk to Shu right now. Yeah, yeah, sh shut up. You you, you do that. I... Shu, holy crap. I talked to the Centurion. There's a spy. I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Yeah, I know. I, I, I know. I could find who's, who's leaking the NCR intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Uh, look, you're not listening to me. I know there's a spy. I just talked to the Centurion, and he said he's read radios, radios in every night. Captain Curtis, okay, let's go talk to Captain Curtis. Captain Curtis, holy crap, it? we have a problem. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Yes, that's nice, but Colonel Shu wants me to help you find the spy that you have here. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Okay, and uh, where should I start besides the guy who radios in every night? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Okay, you said Boyd and Contreras, right? Well, I'll leave that to you. But I would recommend Lieutenant Boyd and Sergeant Contreras as two people who usually know what's going on around here. Okay, and what exactly is it you do here? Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Okay, but we should be thinking about who has access to that information. It's like Boyd, Contreras, you, and you and Shu. Okay, goodbye. Later. Okay, Shu and Contreras. Is there a note there? Sniper nest location, you say? Um... Would you mind turning around, please? 
Okay, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie. Eddie, move. Eddie, move! Okay, yep, yep. Gotta it? go talk to Boyd. Gotta go talk to Contreras. I don't know where Contreras is, but I, I can at least find Boyd. Okay, sniper nest location? Where's it? Where? There's a sniper nest around here? Deliver station, Camp Forlorn Hope for Palatly Joseph, Major, or Highest Ranking Officer, Major. This is informing me that a small sniper nest has been successfully set up near Cottonwood Cove as requested. The nest should have some bedding and a small amount of supplies, but no weaponry. Sniper should be forewarned that the position is close to the enemy camp, and upon completing his or her objective, should get the F out of there as soon as flamingly possible. Coordinates are X, X and Z. Good luck and good hunting. Okay, where is that? Where is that on the map? Huh. I wonder where that is. Okay, Boyd. Boyd, Boyd. Boyd, where are you? Tell me you're in here. No, she's gone back to her office. Okay, right? Uh, Shu said that, that the office was, was above, above his. Okay, let's go, back. let's go there. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. Because the Kentarian said about anything about, something about a spy. Have you noticed anyone suspicious lately? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Okay, who's missing exactly? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Okay. Anything else about Anders? Oh, anyone else missing? Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Okay. Anything else you can tell you about Anders? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Okay, I'll check that out later on, because we have a spy. You said there have been thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. Okay, I can keep an eye out for those, I suppose. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Ha ha ha! Lieutenant Carey Boyd, you rascal and your... Uh, blatant disregard for law and order. Okay, and you said there have been break-ins? Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Okay. Any chance you'd be willing to give me the code? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Okay. So what you're saying is that there's nothing there except some old communication equipment. Like, just, you know, for example, a radio that could be used to report on troop movements at night. That, that, that's what you're saying. It's, it's like, there are three dots here. Would you like me to draw the lines and connect them for you? L look, I'll, I'll see what I can find about Corporal White for you, all right? Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Okay, I guess we can do that, but not today, all right? Okay, those dots do paint a pretty compelling picture, though. It's like, it's clearly an officer. Nobody else would have the code to get in there. It's somebody who knows about troop movements, which means it's, you know, basically one of the four officers we, we, we talked to. It's, it's, it's either... Boyd, Shu, Curtis, 
or probably Contreras. I'm, I'm thinking Contreras right now, just because it's like, he seems like kind of a shifty guy. So let's go see if we can't find that. Has Morning. no one told you it's very rude to point? Yeah, let's go find Contreras. See about maybe, uh, you know, exercising the old De La Cruz charm on him. Ah, hello. Hey. Sergeant Daniel Contreras, how are you doing today? I am a completely not suspicious person. What can I do for you? You can just stop moving, please. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Oh! You're the arms dealer! Yeah, wh 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 what do you got for sale? Take your pick. All right, hello, hello, a five millimeter submachine gun, a Chinese sniper hole with damage 28. That's kind of crap, isn't it? Ooh, and combat armor. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, Raul, you know how I said the jumpsuit look was out? I think I might have found something for you. And holy crap, you have all of the 5mm surplus ammo. That is crazy. And and a star bottle cap that you're apparently selling for only one cap? Really? I mean, sold, but <laughs> kind of a chump move, isn't it? Actually, you know what I'd really like in this case is a mod that lets me... You know, speaking out of character here, I would like a mod that lets me sort by value. So I can say, oh, look at all these heavy Badlands armor that I'm never going to use. Yeah, sort by weight, sort by sort by val value per weight. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Yeah, I will do that. For now, though, you said you needed a... You asked me, do you need a reliable supplier? What kind of supplies did you have in mind? Are you implying I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients? Because that could get a man in trouble. Yeah, it really could. But, you know, maybe some caps could clarify things. Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. That does sound like a good offer. But I'm tempted to say no, at least until this whole affair with the other thing that I'm totally not doing. It's, it's not me. Yeah, uh, uh shoot. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have said that. Look, yeah, what is it you need done? Ignore what I just said, please. Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the Gunrunners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. You want to know... You want to know which girl he, he likes? Really? Y yeah, maybe later. All right, well, just find me when you want to get started. After all, I need, I, I need to get going now, Contreras. Bye. Because after all... We still don't know he's not a, not a suspect. Or rather, we don't know he's not THE suspect. Hmm. Let's see about breaking down this ammo, making something useful, and then let's go take a look at that tower, alright? Ah, hello. That has the look of a long abandoned tower that could be potentially broken into at night. All right, let's take a peek at this. Okay, there we go. We can just take a look at the code. It's locked very easy, but we should have the code already. All right, control tower access log. Looks like it's every 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 night at around 1 a.m. and then 6 a.m. Okay, so if we wanted to stake it out, what... Oh, it's only noon right now. Hmm. Well, if we wanted to stake this out, we could. Ah, but it kills me to just waste a day. 
there's part of me wants to go and cause trouble. I mean, we could go hunt some fiends. Major Daughtry was talking about that. And we're gonna have to stick around the area anyway so we can do this job. Tell you what, let's go check out the tower, check out the inside, and then we can... And then we can have a stakeout. Okay, what do we have here? We have a ham radio, a desk with three bottle caps, which the game does not consider ceiling. Thank you very much. And a radio. Hello, what's this say, I wonder? It says nothing. And neither does the ham radio. Quest added, don't fence me in. Huh? That's straight. Go see if Paul has anything new to talk about. <laughs> well, boys. I mean, we could stay here and be responsible and stake out the place for a Legion spy. But, on the other hand, we can go talk to Paul. And I think we both know which is more important. Okay, and time. It is currently 2.30. It took us two hours to get here. Okay, keep an eye on the clock, guys. Let me know when it's, let's say, 9 o'clock. That way we have plenty of time to get back to the van. We can drive back to Camp McCarran, and we'll still be there by 11 o'clock so that we can stay at the tower by midnight. There we go. That's the plan. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me miss it. 9 o'clock, let me know. Paul, 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 I got your message. You have something for me. Well, look who stopped by. I was hoping you'd come and see me. I've got some more good news for you. Yeah, I heard. What do you want to see me about? Well, my supplier got in touch with me, and he's been able to salvage a whole lot of fencing from an old scrapyard. So that got me to thinking that's about the only thing left to spruce up around the school. With everything else as nice as it is, it just seems that that fence is still a bit of an eyesore. Plus, it can't do its job of keeping out critters and whatnot, laying on the ground like most of it is. Yeah, I was actually just, I, I agree totally. I actually looked at it like that and I said, said Would it, wouldn't it be better to fix this? Yes, fix it, please. Great, I was hoping you'd say that. So here's what I have in mind. We can't put up a new fence with that old dead tree in the way. And me and Dean's getting too old to move something that big by ourselves. But if we could cut it up, it'd be a lot easier to manage and get out of the way, but we need a chainsaw for that. You don't happen to have one laying around somewhere, do you? I might. I'd have to check. Honestly, I, I have no idea. Okay, see what you can find and come back and let me know. Damn, I almost forgot. The cost of the fencing is going to be around 1,500 caps. You think you can afford that? Psh, chump change. Yeah, I can afford that. Great, it's settled then. I'll go ahead and order the fence, and you can find me a chainsaw. Meet me back when you have one. Okay, any idea where I might find one? You can start by checking some of the merchants all around the Mojave. Gun runners or those two boys in Freeside might be a good start. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Good luck. Okay, but I haven't been to Freeside, and I haven't been to gun runners, so I just need to pray and hope that I have something... In the house or in the van. Okay, quickly, 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 let's find it. Do you suppose he'd accept a ripper? I mean, that's kind of like a chainsaw. I mean, he probably won't, but let's bring it anyway. <gasps> a chainsaw, hello, we have one, fantastic. Well, hello, I see you were able to round up a chainsaw. That's great to see. That's amazing you could, you're able to see that because, frankly, I don't actually show any of the stuff I'm carrying around. I'm carrying like 900 pounds of stuff. Yeah, here, take it. Well, that's fantastic, and just in time, too. I got the fencing ordered, and it should be here tomorrow or the next day. Give us a couple of days, and it should be all fixed up. Oh, and I didn't want you to think we were going to keep your chainsaw. I only need to borrow it. You'll get it back after we finish the fence. Come back and see me when we're done, okay? Well... If I'm being perfectly frank, I, I I don't use chainsaws. It's like, it's a wonder I had one in the van that I... It's a wonder that I had one where I did. It's like, I frankly thought I'd have to, you know, go to Chet and say, Hey, Chet, what's up? Chainsaw now. Or go, or go to Frankie and say, Hey, Frankie, I really hope you have a chainsaw because I don't know where else to find one. All right, time. It's 3.22. We have plenty of time to go back to McCarran and stake things out. And also, thank goodness that Paul wasn't in the 
hey, you go fix it mood like he was for the rest of the schoolhouse. You know, he's he's content to just say, here, give me the chainsaw and I'll do it for you, <laughs> which is fantastic. Okay, on we go. Back to McCarran. We have a job to do. All right. We're in position. And now we just need to wait for <laughs> eight hours. Did either of you guys happen to bring a deck of cards? Eight hours later. I mean, come on, guys. It's been forever. <laughs> I recognize that it's only 12.36 and this guy usually signs in like 105, but still, come on, we've been here for eight hours, my knees are sore already. <laughs> what does it take to catch a spy? Come on! One eternity later. Where is this guy? Come on. The Kenturian said he radio radioed in at night. Radio win already. Come on. Okay, it's almost one. Something should be happening soon. Please, please let something happen. Two hours later. <gasps> okay. Nobody, make a move. Wait a minute. Is, is that Curtis? That's freaking Curtis! And he's heading right to the tower! Sergeant Contreras is the suspicious one of... Ow. That's why he's been working with God, with, with Shu! To, to, so that he knows the plan, so that he can go in and radio them home! Okay, here's the plan. We wait for him to go in. That, that's, why, that's why he has the codes, because he's an officer. Alright, so we wait for him to go in, and then we sneak in. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, in we go, in we go. And now we do nothing and we listen in. Okay, real, okay. Lupa, this is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10-4. Keep us updated. 10-4. Okay, he's going back down. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get out of here. Get out of here. We have a train to go... We have a train to save. I don't know where the monorail is. Okay, quick, quickly, quickly. Let's find the door. Let's find the door. Okay, it's over here. Um, Where's, where's the trail? Where's the monorail? Where is the monorail... Oh, monorail, it's over here. Monorail is over here. Look, it's very important I, I get out here, okay? Okay, okay, where's the bomb? Where is the bomb? Come on, it's gotta be in here somewhere. It's gotta be in here somewhere. If I were a bomb, where would I... I'd be where the blinking light is. Okay, explosives... The device looks as though it is armed and could go off at any moment. <laughs> explosives there of 35 or science of 45. Okay, science defuse the charge. You successfully extracted and defused the bomb. Okay, okay. Report to Colonel Shu. I will do that. Let's go wake up the Colonel at midnight and tell him, oh, by the way, one of your officers is actually kind of, sort of, totally a Legion spy. That's going to go over well, isn't it? Something I can do for you? Yeah. Yes, what is it? It's actually something I can do for you. <laughs> you won't be having problems with intelligence leaks anymore. No? What happened? I can't say you won't have intelligence leaks anymore. I know who's behind it. It's Curtis, and he's in the Legion. He was trying to blow the monorail. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explain a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. I'll have Curtis taken into custody. If he lets himself be taken alive, that is. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. 
And now, if you'll excuse me, I've been crouching for the past nine hours. I need to go Grandpa hobble over to a bed and collapse. I hope you don't mind. Liked by the NCR. After nine hours of squatting, I should bloody well hope so.